All right, today we have our basic Serto kit. This is the CT6000. The CT6000 has 60 millimeters of travel. There's also a CT2500 that has 25 millimeters of travel. They are both the same price. That's coupled today with the ND280, the black and white version of the ND287. The ND287 has some uh, slightly uh, more in-depth features on it, a color display, the ability to add a second axis, and so forth. Um, this is a motorized version. You can see here it goes up and down with the push of a button. You can also see that on the back there is a selector for one, two, and three. That selects the amount of force that is put on the, the object that you have underneath the, the plunger there. In this setup here we're showing the Serto gauge, the CT6000, with the CS granite stand. That is CS for Serto. There is also an MS granite stand that is used with the Metro gauges, just as I have here. A much smaller gauge and a lower accuracy. The accuracy of the Serto gauge, this one that we're displaying here, is an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 microns. Now, this I have in my hand, the Serto chart that came with this gauge, and it has an accuracy of plus or minus 0.05 microns. That is a total error band of one micron. There is an additional accessory that comes with this kit and that's the ceramic suction plate. The ceramic suction plate comes with a vacuum pump or you can use it with your own internal vacuum supply in your metrology department. This suction plate is used to adhere uh, lightweight parts, maybe a wafer or some small ceramic part that you wouldn't get repeatable uh, measurements with otherwise. The ceramic plate simply goes up on the, on the stand. One port goes to the bottom ring to hold it down. The other port goes to the top. And by use of this suction plate as the accessory, you will ensure that your part won't move. Now we're going to do a very simple measurement. I'm going to bring the plunger down and I'll simply clear the display by pressing 0 and enter. Okay, and right now I'm going to show you how this works by measuring my phone. Simply press the up button to clear the plunger, place your device in there, and come down and touch off on it. Nearly half an inch.